Welcome back to episode 3 of the panoramic pixel art tutorial. In this episode, we've already got a fully colored and fully shaped panoramic shot. The next thing we're going to work on is adding in details as well as shading. The first step you have to do is open up a new layer, put the blending mode on overlay, and drop down the transparency to around 10%. Make your color black and start painting over your objects. Define them with shadows. So in the case of the mountains, adding shadows to where a specific crag would stick out adds a lot of depth and texture to it. Take your time in this process as it's the main way to define what we're looking at. Most of the times, one layer with the overlay blending mode isn't enough to properly define an object with shading. I'd recommend creating a second layer with the exact same settings of 10% blending mode overlay and to draw over the already defined shades even more so. This in essence is pillow shading. It changes a flat texture into something that we recognize as something with depth, with a shape. Make sure to remain consistent with your lighting. Choose where your light source is. In this case, it's the sun. And I chose them to be on the, very, on the top left. This means that all the shadows have to always be cast on the right side. You can use these overlay blending mode shading techniques also to define textures to add, for example, individual leaves through the actual crowns of the trees. Alright, we're almost there. Now that we've got most of the shading down, let's add some proper lighting and textures. This will bring the piece to life. Create a new layer, put an overlay again at around 20%, and start defining sun rays, for example. Based on where your light source is, draw large geometric shapes like so, and then fill them with a transparent white. To add more three dimensional space to your piece, you can also have shadows that are being cast by the object. Like so. Another trick that I, li I like to apply both to my animations as well as my images is to add grain. This will make some flat colors a little less boring. You do that by creating a new layer, then you fill it with any color. I recommend black and white. Then you click on f Filter, Render, Clouds, and after that, Filter add noise under pixelate. Then change the opacity to around 5% and we've got a grain effect just like in the old movies. Last but not least, never underestimate color coding. Now there are several ways of how, how you can do this. This could be true through adjustment layers, but I recommend doing it nice and simple. Create another layer, use overlay once again, and create some sort of color at a 20% opacity. This will cast all the colors to a similar hue and will make the piece look consistent. If you're really determined, you can even add some sort of vignetting. Just make another layer, fill it with black, take your brush, make it something smooth, and erase everything but the corners. 